our body tells us when something's wrong but sometimes we have to actually look for those signs and it can be as simple as saying ah Heidi Goita has more hey guys normally when something's wrong with our bodies there are some pretty obvious signs either we're just not feeling well we have some aches and pains but sometimes finding out what's wrong is a little bit more difficult and one place you can look is your tongue Mary Montes from DeRosa Medical is with us today and you say there's some pretty obvious signs starting with the color of your tongue oh absolutely it's easy to place to look and I think a lot of us sort of neglect looking at the tongue and to give us a better indication of what might be going on. So tell me if somebody looks at their tongue and sees white, what would that indicate? A lot of times with white you think of something like candida which is a yeast infection of the mouth and that can be seen with patients who are on antibiotics, perhaps using steroids or those patients who are immunocompromised like HIV patients or possibly chemotherapy patients. It can also be seen if you're doing a little bit of smoking or drinking in excess or some dehydration. Okay. Now a red tongue, everyone's tongue is a little bit pink, but if it's dark red, that's also a health concern. Yeah, that big beefy red sign, the biggest factor with that tends to be B12 deficiency. It's also seen in pernicious anemia, which is an intrinsic factor deficiency that can lead to B12 deficiency, and then also in celiac sprue disease. Okay, now one of the signs that you say is something more obvious is if your tongue is swollen. That would be pretty obvious and uncomfortable, so people would probably come in right away for that. Right, and I think the biggest thing we need to check for is it's not an allergic reaction and we have a good airway but also you have to think of hypothyroidism it tends to cause a swollen tongue it's more pale then and B12 deficiency can also be swollen but it tends to be more red. Now what are the treatments for these types of things? With the vitamins obviously that would be pretty simple with some supplements but what else do people need to do? Uh, good oral hygiene is always something that needs to be done. There's easy medications for the yeast infections of the mouth that we use. Um, also just yeah like you said supplementing what you need. Now, how often would you recommend people check their tongue? Is this something we should be doing daily, weekly? How often do we need to be taking a good look at it? I think every week or so is fine, but make sure when you're doing brushing your teeth, most people can look at their tongue and people neglect it. It's good to brush it too and get all that bacteria off of there every day. All right, Mary, thank you so much. We'll go ahead and send it back to you guys.